Hello everyone, welcome to Super Weapons of War. Today we talk about the Grand Sar Tank, a breakthrough tank meant to win the war on the Eastern Front. The Beginnings During 1914, the German Kaiserreich was advancing into the Russian provinces and eventually Russian soil. The Tsar at this time, Tsar Nicholas II, was worried about the advances towards St. Petersburg, the capital at this time, and he gathered his army generals to help design a brand new machine. This machine was going to be capable of going across the Russian tagas in the flat terrain of western Russia to crush the German army. Unfortunately, this weapon never came. The Proposition when the Russian Ministry of Defense heard of the losses on the Eastern Front, the Allied designers came up with a new machine. Hearing of the greatness of tanks in France decimating the German army with these machines, the Russians hoped for a machine that could do the same, that could fight alongside the Allies or compete against them in combat. They designed a heavy machine that could provide fire for every troop on the ground and in the air. The Tsar Tank When the Tsar Tank was completed in late 1915, it had many issues. There were mostly weight and height problems, as the vehicle was one of the largest ever built, and for certain, the largest moving vehicle ever made at this time. The rear wheels tended to sink, leading the vehicle to be bogged down and unusable. It came armed with two turrets, above and below, and two on the sides, coming with either cannons or machine guns, both which were modern and revolutionary at this time. It was meant to be a true war machine, but only one tank was ever built. Service Life When it was completed in 1915, it was to be tested just outside of Moscow and put through minimal combat trials until it was abandoned on the testing ground. In 1923, it was officially scrapped by the Russian Red Army after the October Revolution. Today, it resides in video games, common tank forums, and small models to represent this Russian behemoth. Many people believed it could have changed the war, having revolutionary technology and the greatest power to weight ratio of any tank of World War I. Even the light tank, the Whippet, made by the British Army, it was cancelled due to not being what the Russian army wanted. I hope you all loved this episode of Super Weapons of War. This episode took a lot of digging to go through, and I really hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the amazing story of a marvel of technology, but was rejected due to personal opinions and lack of professional expertise.